So a hard reline is going to be much different from a soft reline. Um, the main reason being that a soft reline is not permanent. It's temporary. You can peel it out if you don't like it. Um, but a hard reline, that is, when it's done, it's done. When a dentist does a hard reline, they will take a goopy-like material, very similar to the impression material when you had your impressions done, and they will actually put it inside of your existing denture, and they will mold, they will make a new mold. Then they will take that mold and send it to the lab, which usually will take a few days, so you may have to go a few days without your dentures, unless your dentist has an in-house lab, and then maybe they can give it back to you several hours later. So what they do is rebase the denture using the mold that you just gave them at your dentist's office, and they make a new acrylic denture. A hard reline is going to cost much more than a soft reline, and it's going to be permanent. I hope that answers your question. How long after eating can you use cushion grip? As soon as you are cleared to wear regular adhesive, you can also use cushion grip meaning that you have no open sockets and no stitches. This is usually about three weeks in. So this is what your cushion grip will look like at the end of day two. I do plan on popping back in in a few days and showing you what it looks like then. This will last me about three weeks. This is what my cushion grip looks like on day four. Still good as new, still going strong. I'll check back in in a few days and see what it's looking like. But so far, so good. It looks just like it did when I first put it in.